Let me begin by saying that I've been a nurse for over 45 years, and so this is a subject matter which I know about personally from caring for women and being a woman myself. We want to make sure that women have access to health care services and preventative care that they need, while also ensuring that our federal tax dollars are not going to an organization that performs elective abortions like Planned Parenthood. The Republican proposal does not take money away. Let me just say that again. It does not take money away. Instead, it redirects these funds to community health centers. These are nonprofit, community-based clinics that provide comprehensive, yes, comprehensive care. I'm talking about centers that are able to diagnose and treat conditions. And they are in underserved areas with high levels of poverty and infant mortality. There are more than 9,000 community health centers, facilities across this country. In 2015, community health centers provided health care services to more than 20 million Americans, um, nearly 60% of which were female. In comparison, Planned Parenthood served fewer than 3 million in 2015. Let me go back and say that again. The community health centers served 20 million, while Planned Parenthood served 3 million. The Planned Parenthood advocates, advocates regularly claim that women receive mammograms at its facilities. None of these organizations, 650 of these facilities, actually offer mammograms. In contrast, community health centers are major providers of mammograms, particularly to women who are Hispanic, African American, Medicaid recipients, and uninsured. These centers have the ability to provide comprehensive women's health care services, not just diagnosis, but also treatment. I also want to bring up a report, and this is not a report that comes from Republicans. This report actually comes from Planned Parenthood themselves. To just, let's take a look at their own report. This is their own language. Compre and this comes from their 2016 report. We haven't received their 2017 yet. Contraceptive services have dropped by nearly 18% just in one year and are down by 20% since 2010. So the claim that women get their contra contraceptives from there, their services have dropped by 18%. Cancer screening and prevention services have dropped by 27% in just one year and by 57% since 2010. Overall total services dropped by 11% in just one year and are down 14% since 2010. Yet, the recorded number of abortions are 323,999, basically unchanged from the prior year. So, if we talk about those preventative services that women need, we can see that those services are down while their abortion services are maintained at the same level. On an issue of highly charged as abortion, where the American people are deeply divided, we should make every effort to ensure that their taxpayer dollars do not go to the nation's largest single provider of abortions. This bill includes those protections. Additionally, it is important to note that this provision only applies for one year which will give Congress the necessary time to determine whether to continue this policy forward in future legislation. And their report will give us an indication. Once we see the 2017 report, we'll see if these services that my colleagues on the other side of the aisle hold up um, as being services that are needed by women and that this is a war on women. By the way, let me just say, when I hear this phrase, a war on women, it makes me shudder. How many of those 322,999 babies that are aborted are female? You want to talk about a war on women? How many of those little girls will never be able to grow up and know about being their fullest potential? That's the true war on women, let's be honest. In addition to providing an additional $422 million to community health care centers that they're not currently getting, but they will get, that's, and, and if, they, if we were to listen to my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, but use a Guttmeyer report, which, by the way, Guttmeyer is taken from the 
gentleman's name that was the original um, founder of Planned Parenthood. So I do have a question about the report, and we see differences in other reports. But in addition to providing this $422 million to community health care centers that provide more comprehensive care, that currently, if we're going to overload them, we should absolutely give them more money that serves the needs of the low-income women, the American Health Care Act ensures that women on Medicaid will have access, this is an additional, to breast and cervical cancer screening and treatment. So additional dollars for these services will be given to these community health care centers to be sure that when they take up these additional services, they will have money to treat women for these particular services. 